Stick around. Coming up next is Media News number 184. We're going to talk about all sorts of genre sci-fi news, like Stephen King's Under the Dome coming to CBS. We're also going to talk about Seth MacFarlane and his plans for a Family Guy movie. We're going to cover the return of... Ah, I'll tell you in a minute. And and we're gonna we're gonna it's chat elementary. a little we're gonna chat a little bit about young Sherlock Holmes. All that and more coming right up. The twentieth every month is Founders Day here at Alternate Reality, and on the twentieth, you can save twenty percent off everything I've got in the store. All my comics, trade paperbacks, action figures, statues, posters, supplies, gaming stuff. Everything is twenty percent off on the twentieth, except for this week's shipping and my buy in bulk supplies. But everything else is twenty percent off. So stop on down to Alternate Reality on the twentieth of every month and save yourself twenty percent off. I feel smarter already. Did I say smarter? I meant number. Here's media news with Comic Book Man and Jr. We like it back here in the cheap seats. Know why? Because they're cheap. <laughs> Media News, episode 184. Wendigo Waltz. Yes. Hey it. folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... Media News! Media News! I almost forgot what time it was. Media News is coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, which is located at the intersection of 111 and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my new comics are always 15% off. I swear to God. Every day for everyone, this is an all genre sci fi, more or less, sort of, kind of, nice. edition of Media News. And the first story we're going to start off with is Family Guy. Oh, Family that's not sci fi! No, but it is. But it's genre, sort of. Yeah, yeah, it has, it's sort of. But Specifically, it, Seth MacFarlane. Seth MacFarlane, future yes. Oscar host. Yes, I Seth am really MacFarlane. looking forward to that. That is future going to be an Oscar odd mixing. Host. Well, Seth was speaking at UCLA this week to the okay. students for whatever reason, and uh, he young he, filmmakers. He let the bomb drop that the Family Guy movie is not so much a matter of of yeah, if, but, but when. when. Uh, he talked about the Simpsons movie and said how much he enjoyed that. He said, but the one thing about the Simpsons movie, in, in his opinion. Mm -hmm. So that really could have been an episode or two of the TV show. And that's not what he wants to do with Family Guy. He wants to do something he can't do. Bring it to life. No, probably more along the lines of a lot of swearing and cussing and, 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 <laughs> and sex talk. You know, kids love the sex talk. Peter's Peter. You know, I, yeah, hey. I didn't have a problem with there not being a lot of swearing and cussing in the Simpsons movie. I don't really need to see the Simpsons swearing. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean Family Guy? Well, he, well Simpsons. No, Simpsons. Well, so. you know, he was t one of the reasons why. You said that you... Yeah, okay. but... I really I, didn't need to see that in the Simpsons that. I, I'm just speculating that's going to be swearing and, and okay. sex and all that okay. stuff. But it's something you can't do on television. I that, always that's thought the restraints made them funnier. The way that they kind of... You kind of dance the line yeah. of the restraints. Well, you, you, have to push the you have to be more creative. Right. I mean, is this going to be a Family Guy movie more along the lines of Ted? Uh, who knows? I don't know. I mean, you really, do you really care about seeing Peter and uh, and his wife uh, cornhole one another, you know, <laughs> up in the bedroom for a half an hour? I mean, and that's yeah. not the same. Uh, it's bad animation. I mean, who gives a shit? Who gives uh, a but anyway, what, whatever it's going to be, it's going to happen in the next couple of years. And I think what they need to do is get the juggling act of trying to do the series every year yeah. and then try and get this movie done at the same time, mm -hmm. which has got to be a strain on everybody involved. But it's coming soon, supposedly sooner than we all think. Okay. There it is. You've got that to look forward to, but you know what else you have to look forward to? What? The return of one of the most beloved <laughs> science fiction concepts oh. ever to grace the silver screen over the last 20 years. Nothing's been done with it. It's almost virgin territory for a reason. And that, of course, is Kevin Costner's Waterworld. Yes, for those of you Nobody's done anything with that. Now, how long ago was that? I, I what are, what, like, like uh, 80, that's one of the things I said. 80s? No, that's one of the reasons I said 20 years. It, it's within the last 20 year period. But not by much, I don't think. I think it's right on the edge of that. Well, Sci-Fi Channel. I guess whenever this film plays on... It was right after Dances with Wolves, I think, wasn't it? That he did that. <sighs> was it right after? Man, I talk about right talk about peeing away your goodwill. Well, and that's exactly what it was, too. That's exactly Man, what it was. No, you know what he did right after Waterworld was the post... No, 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 no. After Dances with Wolves was the postman. Was it? Yes. Okay. Yes, the postman. Anyway, I, I digress, as we yes. always tend to do. Waterworld. Whenever this airs on the Sci-Fi Channel... They get very big ratings for the Sci-Fi sci -fi Channel, which is half a million viewers. But that's big for the Sci-Fi Channel. Dennis Hopper's in that. I hear he's dead. Uh, <laughs> you know, CGI, they can put a mask on somebody or something. I don't know. But anyway, the, the head of Sci-Fi, uh, Mr. Uh, whose Mr. Name Sci. Me, David Howe, I'm sorry, David Howe, who runs Sci-Fi Channel. Said, Mr. Fly. <laughs> we're seriously considering doing this either as a, as a made-for-TV movie sequel or as a series. You start from scratch. 
Uh, basically, recast and, and start over again. And he does have, make it the make it a better better version of. He does he does have a point where he, when he says that it's basically unexplored. It's an unexplored piece of intellectual property. It's never been. It never went any farther than the first film. Not even in novels or comics for it. You would think. Well, no, there was a comic. Oh, there was, was a, yeah, there was who, a comic. Who did that? Who I took that out? I think it was a claim actually. When when a claim oh, was sure. a claim, you know, a Valiant became a claim, and then a claim went out of business. Wow. I think it was a comic claim. book history fans. Comic book history. Yes. Yeah, but so, there was a Waterworld comic. Sci-Fi Channel, Waterworld, maybe, coming soon. And uh, you raised the point earlier, filming a series or movie on water is a, is a pricey proposition. Yeah, that's one of the, I, that's one, there were a couple others, but the it's one of the reasons why the Aquaman pilot, yeah. that the folks who did Smallville never got off the ground because it costs all sorts of the money. The logistics of shooting on water are huge, yeah. so I don't know if they're going to CGI up the water or what, but Waterworld coming your way. Hopefully, Hopefully Kevin Costner does a cameo in the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it will be at least as successful as the man from Atlantis. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about that one? He had, well. he had the web. The web <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was great. He also had a little gill yeah, thing right did. here behind yeah, his he ear. Did. Thanks for making me yeah, remember. Yeah, Victor Broda was a bad guy in that. Wow, I forgot all about yeah, it. I, I, totally I, know. Hated fish. I You know, right up here, Steel Trap. Steel Trap. Where are my car keys? Let's, let's move on from that story. I'm getting headache. Another franchise that nothing much has been done with, but you are very, very, very familiar with, is, of course, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yes, I know. I know that there's been uh, many Sherlock we Holmes got, movies. We got Sherlock Holmes shooting out of our ears at this oh, point. I know that, but you know what you don't have shooting out what of your ears? What do we have? What? Young Sherlock yes. Holmes. There Remember? was a young Sherlock Holmes movie that came out. Back in the late 80s. 1985. Like, like Mid-80s. Nearly 30 years Sherlock? ago. He yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Actually, Maybe Sherlock. <laughs> wasn't that a Spielberg? Not that he directed. Yes. Didn't he, didn't that he, was that three, he produced, produced it. it. It was through yeah. Amblin Entertainment. I pooped and, in my uh, diaper. Barry Levinson directed it. It was okay. written by Chris Columbus, who was hot as can be off of the Home Alone films at that yeah. point. And it was still bad. And it was, well, I, you know what? I have kind of semi-decent memories of that film because there's a sequence in it one of the first uses of CGI okay. where stained glass a stained comes glass alive. window yeah. came to life. It was yes. a knight on a stained glass window and it jumped down off of the window and, and was waving the, the sword around at, yeah. at Sherlock Holmes. And it looked pretty spiffy at the time. Well, it's coming back. They're, uh, Paramount's doing a remake of young okay. Sherlock Holmes because nobody's doing Sherlock Holmes these days. Um, <laughs> Barry Levinson, I no. don't know if he's involved, but Chris Columbus. I was just the saying original, the other day, there isn't a Sherlock Holmes. No, there really isn't. Chris Columbus, who wrote the original film, is going to be executive producing the remake. So, okay. more Sherlock Holmes coming soon. Thank God for public domain. And finally, we've got an, a, a, a new story, new. a new piece of, a new, well, not a new story, but a new piece of franchise, which is Stephen King's 2009 bestseller, Under the Dome, Under the Dome. which is coming your way. Yes, originally it was going to be on Showtime okay. back in 2009. Showtime was all hot and bothered about Under the Dome by Stephen King. They have yeah. since said, meh. Go. We meh. have Homeland. Go. Have now, Homeland. CBS is going to be, they're going straight to series. No pilot, nothing. We're going right to series with Under the Dome. Not even a mini series, a series series. Okay. Open-ended series series. Um, Brian K. Vaughn, a familiar name to comic yes. book fans, will be executive yes. producing Very this. So. This will premiere next summer, summer next of 20. 13. Speaking of Under the Dome and the Simpsons movie we talked about earlier, yes, very similar. Yeah. Yes, did you read Dome. the book? I did not read the book, Mr. Jeff. No? Yeah, uh, you say he's nonplussed by the concept. So go out and read the book. Read the book. Yeah. Until then, we're done. We're finished. We're out of here. We got no more media news. Go to the store's website, check out all the media news Bo sends me and all of this man's reviews. Where is the store's website at? Uh Sarah knows. She's she's your thrall. <laughs> www.myalternatereality.com Let's just say that if you don't go, the consequences will be dire. So stop off at the store's website, check out his reviews and Bo's news. Until next time, this is Comic Book Man. And this is good old JR. Saying, Bye. where's my thrall? <laughs> Bye. The Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.